Is it me? We're going. It's yeah. me. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back uh, to the Cherry Red Record Stadium here at Plough Lane after this evening's 2 0 defeat uh, to Championship side Reading. A uh, defensive ma- mistake and a cracker of a finish from Jeff Hendrick. The, uh, the difference here. Uh, so, goals from yeah, Yaku Mate and Jeff Hendrick. The difference here between uh, the two sides. Um, got an esteem panel with us, Stuart. You, you've decided to go from behind the mic to in, in front of the camera. Well, do you know what? I thought I'd... Um, I had a bit of class to do. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, I I got, got Modelled a new home kit. Yes. That's what it's doing for us. <laughs> Joie de vivre. You know? The kit looked nice, didn't it? Mate, I'd like it if I know, you were I know I'm wearing it, but I'm saying it looked nice as a full kit. It looks better on athletes, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> All kits look good. <laughs> of course, it's available in the club shop if you, if you want to purchase it. Um, let's go through that defeat, pick the bones out of it. Um, Stuart, first to you. I, I actually thought Wimbledon held their own this evening and, and played some smart football in places. Yeah, and they're a championship club, aren't they? I think it's sometimes, sometimes to keep the game got relegated, but we did. Um, so it's a two-league two league gap. Yeah, I thought we held our own. I thought... Yeah, I thought we looked quite solid in there. Uh, Macoma looked decent in midfield, didn't he? You Very see, decent. Yeah. You know, considering that he's probably not trained with, with his, you know, with anybody in that stuff like that. So I thought he looked good. Yeah, I thought he looked solid enough. Yeah, he really had their chances, but of course you expect that for a championship team. But I thought, yeah, I thought in terms of JJ's, you know, John Jackson at the moment is going to have to get to a stage where he's going to have to, the team's going to have to start to knit, isn't it, in terms of formation wise? I still think we're a little bit short on out front. Um, but you know you can, see, you can definitely see a structure now starting to appear. Um, not the it was it wasn't going to be a, a, a sort of a classic performance from, from the forwards. You know it's, it's always a difficult one coming into a new side, working at that that link up play. Um, we saw some signs of Josh Davidson. He did come off uh, earlier on. In, why did you put that tweet? Oh, why did you put that tweet? Why did you put that tweet? Because because George gets his George has got his admirers. George has yeah. his own fan club. Right, and you're just saying your hair looks shorter. George it's had like his yearly, George had his yearly haircut. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, George has had his haircut. I, I've got to admit, I think um, Magoma, Paris yeah. Magoma, looked excellent yeah. Yeah. tonight. He looked like sort of a cut above him, a bit, bit of class, loads of energy, the willingness to go and trap back, the willingness to go and do do the hard yards and the dirty work. And, yeah. And he can find a pass as well. He yeah. can pick a, a really the good old bunny pass. pinged and died and all that. Yeah. Oh, stunning. Like stunning. Yeah, stunning. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. stunning. You know, um, it, it will bring you back to the glory days. <laughs> <laughs> well, the glory days, I can't remember if Vinnie Jones or anyone like that playing a ball like that. But. Andy Botch? Yeah. The odd ball here. Reeves the, the oddball. Jay yeah. Reeves once in a while. It was Reeves who did ping Danny in them once in a while. Andy Bartram. I always wonder what happened to Andy Bartram. I loved him so Just much. Just disappeared. Bartram yeah. Bay. Miss you, mate. Miss you. <laughs> Flying down the wing at King's Meadow. You know, tripping over someone's lunch while he did it, you know, because it was so tight. <laughs> it's just that walkway, tripping over the Womble <laughs> way, did it? <laughs> tripping over a dustbin. It's probably not making the Womble with anything. Mate, it's literally, bag of literally. Like jumping over, you know, Chris Draper. It's just what, what happens. Uh, will Hudlin be involved at Oxford? I don't know. I don't do predictions. George does. Um, yeah, thanks for that. Um, I, th- I, th- I think, you know, the, he was a, obviously playing in the National League last year. He got to the playoff final. That wasn't until... Right at the start of June, I think, wasn't it? So it's fair to say he's a month behind everyone else. So I'd want him to get sort of a couple of minutes at least. But I think he's going to be a couple of weeks behind everyone else in terms of fitness. I just wonder where the you know sort of the team goes yeah. on, on on Saturday. I think maybe we'll see a, a better reflection of what's going to come yeah. in in the first uh, uh, week of the season. Aaron Struck Barch is a mortgage broker. Yeah. Oh, what do you know? What do Small you know? Say, bag of tricks. Told you. Mate, what a geezer. What a geezer. Um, anyone else want to just pick up on anything from yeah. tonight? I think so. Yeah, I, I, th- I think just going on what you were saying about Saturday, I think Saturday against Oxford, you have to go with your, the starting 11 that you're going to play against Stillingham. You have to get as close to that as you can just to get 90 minutes and all of them together because still tonight, it was still, what was it, 70 minutes when the subs were made, 75 minutes. So. We need to get 90 minutes free players and we need to start building that team cohesion because the patterns were not there tonight, the behaviours were not there tonight. Yeah, I know it was against Reading and we've got Davison who's only just been with us, but you need to start seeing those and we've only got one more opportunity. So I'd like to see, you know, 90 minutes of players treating it as if it was a competitive game, starting to see those patterns and those behaviours start to become influential in what we're trying to do. Because if we don't do them for Oxford and we just try that for the first time against Gillingham, that's going to be a baptism of fire. Rain was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're near it. 
proper was coming like proper down. Thunder, wasn't it? Proper was coming down. It's way. really sad when you actually feel like people enjoyed the thunder and, and rain. Do you know what I mean? That was a highlight today, mm-hmm. wasn't it? <laughs> Um, and also the sprinklers going on yeah, during the water breaks. It was great. It was great. Um, you know what? We could have got out something out of today's game if Zach Robinson put the penalty away. Would have made it one all. Got that penalty. Yeah. 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 Paul, Paul, Paul would have had to have scored another one. But no, it would, have made it, would, have made it, would have made it one all at the time. Yeah. You know. Then they scored them. You change goals, change games, Alan. You know, as you know best. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Miss penalty. Good save from the keeper. In, in Easy Paul, Paul penalty. Wasn't great, was it? I, I like Zach a lot on those football. You know, I don't def- often criticise players on this, but I thought, I thought it wasn't a good penalty. It was a tired penalty. You know, it was it fairly close on. to him. Yeah, he just come on. And that bit looked like a tired penalty. <laughs> what's, he, what's he been doing? I know it's, it's concerning. It's, it's, it's so concerning. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it just looked. It was so. It was, it was fairly pre- central. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, 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 it was a la- yeah, maybe laid back penalties. Um, I was going to say Chisler had a good chance as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. good save by that keeper. I maintain that you know they were, they were getting into good positions. Yep. You know it, it wasn't Saturday, which was which is a real improvement. On, on yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. You know, Saturday was. I still feel though like it doesn't feel we've got one more game now pre season, and I couldn't. Doesn't feel like I could give you the first starting eleven. Couldn't. We still. I feel to like me, we feel like we're a little bit way off. Yeah, yeah I feel like we're like three games. Yeah. Still need another that, two, that, three that, games. That, yeah, that's the thing because it does feel like we're three, four weeks away from the start of the season, not ten days. I do think we are several weeks away in terms of just we're not quite sharp enough. We've still got so much to do in recruitment, like we said pre-game. We probably need at least another three in. So I do think we've got a lot of work to do in what's not very long now, especially if you do want to go into that Oxford game and do a dry run for a league game. So we've got a lot of work to do in not much time. Um, interesting tweet from Hazanet Football saying you don't see Hudlin working out a bit of a strange signing. I mean, look, this club is full of strange signings. Who, who, who would have seen half of them working out? You've got to give him time. I know he's six foot nine. He's going to be something unique to the, to the Football League. Um, you know, we saw Peter Crouch at six seven, but six nine, the, you, this guy is a, you, an animal. You know what? Hasn't Ed Football saying that Hudlin, uh, he thinks that we need a bit more experience, um, more experience striker from the EFL? We've got Deverson, who's been and done it, you know, in League One and League Two. Hudlin only started five games last season uh, for Solihull Moors and scored 16 goals. Most of his goals come off the bench. So for that Plan B, you know, I yeah. think it's an awesome weapon to have from the subs yeah. bench for us. I just don't think it's really weird how we played tonight. Like, look, look like a three-five-two, didn't it? Yeah. But it looked like uh, not like Sal was in like a little. He didn't seem to join up with the two with Davison and Walker, wasn't it? Yeah. Right. Walker. Yep. Um, it's just a trialist, Mr. Walk, Mr. Trialist. Um, just still doesn't feel like we've, you know, like it just doesn't feel like connected. It feels like you've got defence midfield, and then there's a little bit of like, and it's not surprising. Davison probably hasn't trained with the team. Yeah. It feels like when you hit print, the scanner starts going off. <laughs> <laughs> no connections. Man. There's cables it everywhere. It can look great, and we all know, you know, up top is what you get paid for, isn't it, and stuff like that. But it feels like we're a little bit short at the moment, and um, yeah. yeah. Do you know what is that? Is that Relegation hangover, isn't it? You know, we've lost. It feels like that same feeling again. Yeah. I'm just desperate for a win, any win, play anybody. It'd be nice to do a show with Ben with one because we still haven't done that. We've been doing this show eight months now. Well, Oxford United, the visitors here to Plow Lane on Saturday. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. no, thanks for that. Hopefully, some. Uh, well, mate, that's the fiction. What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything else. Can you cancel um, it? Out? Can you cancel Yeah, it can we bin that off? Can, can, can we host Bedford here again? Or? Uh, hopefully, hopefully, we'll have a signing or two through the door. Well, yeah. Who knows what's, what's on route? Um, keep your, your sort of like your, your merchandise purchases going. I know Matt is enjoying seeing them tills ticking over. So, yeah. Get the kit as beautifully modelled by Stuart. I wish we could pan in close to you. And you don't want it. Look at that. I mean, Stuart, sure, you know. Do you want to show us the detailing on the Hummel kit this year? Well, do you know what? I was, I was quite sad. I got the decals on because I wanted to be the only like League Two. Yeah. Well, it's right. only it be one season. Unique, it? One season. It's unique, only one, one season. Yeah. yeah so, we have League One back on it. Yeah. You know, we were still we were children. What we on Saturday? Yes. You know, like, right. Um, still want to get a name on the back and stuff. Which yes, well, I did. I, I was quite, you know, overzealous when I was running around looking for a shirt. <laughs> I did push a few people out, boy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but you know, I've got a history of buying that when it, the date's released. I have to maintain that. So yeah, uh, I think it's just when we all become kids. I mean, no matter how old we are, I think we're still kids at heart. Yeah. We? New, new season, new kit. Yeah, it's a good-looking shirt. Get down to the club shop, go and buy it. I don't think it's available online just yet. It's just in-store purchases. Uh, get your ticket um, uh, purchases going for, for Saturday as well. 
and for the opening day, we'll be back Saturday lunchtime, early afternoon-ish. We'll see what time we turn up. It's pre-season. It's, yeah. it's no pre-season. No one, no one what we're doing, man. No one commits to anything pre-season. You know, um, that's what we'll do. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see you then.